increasingly hot York Hall. Please welcome into the ring from Aberdeen, James and Cliff. Well, we've already had one upset tonight. James Ampliff from Aberdeen. Is he going to be inspired to fancy his chances of producing another one? 28 years old. He's been around the sport for some time. 34th professional fight tonight. Please welcome into the blue corner from Harrow Wheels, the baby face assassin, Mitchell Smith. A former ABA featherweight champion. You can tell by the crowd's reaction, he's uh, sold plenty of tickets. They're standing up and cheering him on his way to the ring. And there'll be some nerves there, Barry. Most definitely, John, having your debut pretty much uh, in your backyard, if you like. And so he'll be uh, nervous, but I'm sure looking forward to putting on a great performance tonight, John. Nervous maybe, but he's enjoying it, isn't he? Liking the reaction of the crowd and enjoying the moment. Wherever his career goes, he will remember this one, his first paid professional outing, Mitchell Smith. Rain and Steel are proud to present our next contest this evening. It's four three-minute rounds in the Super Featherweight Division. Firstly, weighing in, nine stone, six pounds, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black and grey shorts, hailing from Aberdeen, please welcome James and Cliff. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, making his professional debut this evening, wearing the black and white shorts, weighing in nine stone, eight ounces, he was the 2011 ABA champion from Harrow Wheels, the baby face assassin, Mitchell Smith. The referee in charge of the action is Ken Curtis of Hayes, who will now give his final instructions to both boxers. OK, lads, you both know the rules. So when I say break, you take it. It is very warm in here tonight. The ring card girls in their bikini outfits making their way out of the ring. They might just have got the uh, dress code right tonight. It's a bit warm at ringside in a tie. I prefer to see them wearing that, John, than you. That's for sure. Well, there's a relief. Four-rounder, then. This It's a super featherweight contest and the pro debut of Mitchell Smith on the right-hand side of your picture. Similar shorts. He's the darker-haired one with Assassin on the back there. Baby-faced Assassin. Big nickname to try and live up to. <laughs> yeah, well, certainly, John. And uh, he just tried one of the left hooks uh, as the, the Assassin used to throw. But um, he's looking good so far, John. He's started off quite, um, quite aggressive. Langford complaining about him using the head. He certainly does come in low, trying to tee off with that big left hook, Smith. So keen, anxious to make an impressive pro debut. Lee Selby, incidentally, took six rounds to get rid of James Ancliffe when he fought him. Kid Galahad, who's uh, moving through the ranks now, he took four. So let's see what Smith can do. He's also gone the distance, Ancliffe, with Joe Murray, Chris Hughes, David Savage. So he's a tough guy. Well, he'll do well, we'll need to stop James Ancliffe, but um, I did, I did a lot about Mitchell before this fight, you know, a lot of good things, and um, so far I'm very impressed, John, he's boxing well, he's elusive and aggressive. It's a nice right hand. Yeah, there was a left hook just before it, John, as well, wasn't there, that really yeah. shook him up. 
as uh, with the Welling Garden, the Welling Garden City Amateur Boxing Club when he won that ABA title. Started off with Bushy ABC. Mitchell Smith, James Ancliffe, uh, a Scottish champion as an amateur, both at featherweight and super featherweight. Ken Curtis, the referee, who's going to be scoring this one. Yeah, he moves well, doesn't he, Smith? He just um, just you know, slips a punch and counters every time, John. Sharp shots as well, yeah, and looking very good. And relaxed as well, John. Look at him. You'd never think it was his first fight, would you? No. He looks altogether more assured and confident than young John Dignam did in his previous contest. And Smith, 19 years old, he's just a youngster. It's a cracking up again, then, John. Really was, really set it up lovely and threw everything into it. Kevin Mitchell at ringside on the far side. Sitting next to the promoter, Francis Warren. I have to say, looking at Kevin Mitchell as well on the far side, just partly obscured there by that uh, blue piece of binding. He looks very, very lean, looks ready to go now, doesn't he? Yeah, I saw him earlier, John, looks very, in very good shape. And so does Mitchell Smith, and um, Fox excellent that first round, John. I think all the, he lived up to all the hype. Well, here's some of the action from the opening round. It's that left hand you were talking about from Smith. But Look, brimful of confidence, isn't he? Not at all intimidated, seemingly. But he's relaxed, isn't he, John? And that's why he's, he's punching with authority. He's just relaxed, very focused. You know, he's, he's aggressive, but he's also hard to hit, isn't he? And um, to be honest, uh, oh, look at that. That's a great shot, isn't he? Quality. He even leaned over, didn't he, to get the full purchase on it before he threw it. And he has good vision. And um, Ancliffe will need all of his durability tonight. I think he's going to see the final bell, John. Smith again coached by Jason Rowland. Again, a cracking right hand there, just beat Anchor to the punch right on the pipe again. And he has the confidence, doesn't he, John, just to stand in front of the guy, you know, and put pressure on him with his feet, making you, making you throw punches if he can counter with his, uh, his crisp, sharp shots. That's a beautiful jab again. That's a very nice, assured debut thus far. And a man who names Floyd Mayweather as his boxing hero. Well, you can see some of the, def the defensive skills he's um, picked up from Floyd along the way, but he's a... Uh, He's more aggressive than Floyd Mayweather, if not as good, but who is? That's a nice right hand, lovely shot. Really, really good shot from Smith. Planted his feet, well timed, and the knockdown is given. Excellent shot, John, with everything in it. Timing, precision, accuracy. And look at how relaxed he is coming onto him as well. Well, now he's got plenty of time in this second round. And he's There's not, a real swagger about him. He's not rushing in, is he, John? You know, he's taking his time. He knows he can hurt Ancliffe. Oh, and another one. Another solid right hand. This time Ancliffe stays up. Really impressive hand speed. And the timing as well, John. It's right on the button every time. It's another one. And another one again with the left hook. I like the way he plants his feet, really gives him power in his shots. But he has that assurance, doesn't he, to stand in front of you, knowing he can still make you miss whilst he's going forward, which is near impossible thing to do, John. Oh, good stuff, this is going to be scored as a 10-8 round for Mitchell Smith, having won the opener quite clearly. as well for James Ancliffe that is able to slip past that one. Yeah, 
He's just switched so far, you know, Smith, just trying something new, knowing he's uh, controlling the fight, and he's, you can see Ancliffe is wary of throwing punches, isn't he, John? Because every time he throws a shot, he gets countered with a hurtful punch, as he did then. Looks to have recovered pretty well, though, Ancliffe. Well, he's a tough, isn't he, John? You know, he's yeah. uh, been here before, but um, I'm sure this will be one of the better fighters that he faced. No, he's looking for flashy shots, Smith, in the closing stages of that round. Maybe just a little bit too much. I'm not surprised if uh, Jason Rowland here just says, just concentrate on basics. What do you mean? Oh, look at that, John. It's a perfect shot. He just, he timed the knee. Let, let Anker throw a punch, dip his shoulder just a little bit, and come back with that beautiful right hand. Right on the button. Excellent shot. And Anker done well to get up from that, John, because that was a right on the, right on the pipe. Good shot. Cracking shot. His maturity, John, is what's impressed me the most. You know, he's, he's, he's just 19, he's barely, barely a man, and he's just how mature and relaxed he is in there. You think he'd had 30, 40 fights? There is uh, Kevin Mitchell. Just about to see his eyes. There he is. Looks in good nick, doesn't he? Looks very, very fit. He looks on the weight, doesn't he, John? Good thing to see. Shows that he's focused. Talk of uh, a Ricky Burns fight in the autumn, maybe. Whispers that it could be sometime in September. If so, that is a mouth-watering prospect. Yeah. It is a mouth-watering prospect, John. A cracking fight. But so is this um, Mitchell Smith. He's a <laughs> mouth-watering prospect himself. Oh, good body shot. Lovely left hand from Smith. And again, you saw the way... He planted his feet and really got some purchase. You can really, you can really pick what he does wrong, can you, John? You know, he drops his hands, but he, he does it with a thought. He knows what he's doing every time. He doesn't get hit with any punches. He don't just throw punches for the sake of throwing them. He plants every shot. He, his accuracy is superb. Oh, good shot again. This time, Ancliffe takes it well, but leaning on. Hard man for a pro debut, James Ancliffe. Shows how highly that uh, Dean Powell, matchmaker to the uh, Frank Warren organization, how highly they rate this lad, Mitchell Smith. And you can and see also already the confidence of the fighter himself. Yeah, sorry, Johnny. Well, you can see already, can John, this kid's going to go far without a shadow of a doubt. Unless he has some sort of deficiency, like he can't take a punch or something, which you wouldn't bet on. He has, he has all the skill in the world, doesn't he? Good punch again. Oh, and Ancliffe doesn't want to be shipping those, and he's in trouble there on those ropes. Trying bravely to try and fight back, but Mitchell is really uncorking a big attack here. Kenny Curtis having a good look. The towel had come in anyway, and he stopped the fight in the third round. And what a super impressive pro debut that was. That, John, is as good as a pro debut as I've seen in a long, long time. Absolutely scintillating. There's his friends, his family, his supporters. Enjoying the moment, and remember the name, Mitchell Smith. He's beaten a tough guy here in James Ancliffe, who's been around the block, been in with some good men, and Mitchell Smith did a number on him. I was really impressed with the way in which he sustained this attack once he got the opportunity. Well, he not only beat him, John, he practically beat him up, didn't he, against a tough season for pro. And once he knew he had him hurt, again, he just he let his arms go, but everything with accuracy, John. He didn't waste the punch. And he just, no, he, his shot selection is just absolutely tr tremendous. Body, head, uppercuts, really is. You know, and this is a guy who knows how to survive, Ancliffe. He knows how to stay in there. He knows how to survive against good, you know, up-and-coming professionals. But he had no answer to what, uh, what Smith was throwing his way. Well, the towel had been thrown in by that stage and a merciful release from the punishment ditched out by, Miss, dished out by Mitchell Smith. And a third round stoppage win. What an outstanding debut. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 38 seconds of the third round, your referee, Ken Curtis, has stopped the contest. He deemed James Ancliffe was in no position to continue. The winner in the blue corner from Harold Wield, the baby-faced assassin, Mitchell Smith. Uh, long since uh, lost count, as I'm sure Steve Bunce has done.
and the rest of the boys up there in that commentary position of the number of uh, pro debuts that I've seen over the years, but not too many.